Hello, welcome back to Blue Harvest. Uh, today is another of my book reviews, a Star Wars action figure price guide from 2005. Uh, it cost £9.99, didn't it? It was actually £5. Uh, I think I bought it in about 2014. Uh, collector's catalogue. So it's up to 2005, so it's going to go to the Saga collection, I would have thought. Uh, made in Germany. Uh, you'll see with these on um, eBay quite often. I think, I think they're getting quite quite uh, rare, quite uh, valuable. To be honest with you, not really that valuable. To me. <laughs> but uh, uh, we'd, I'll just go through it quickly. I'll go through the vintage and I'll just go through the rest of it quickly. Um, it's not very in depth. It's not as in depth as the as your Kellerman or anything like that. But it's quite interesting to uh, read through. It's quite portable. Take it with you. Anywhere, not as portable as a mobile, obviously, but uh, you know what I mean. It's nice to have the, the photos to hand. And the first thing we have is fakes. I've seen many of many of these uh, fake cards before. Um, special exclusive packaging. I haven't seen any of these before. I think I've seen the Boba Fett one. Been nice to get those signed. Uh, oh well, I've seen it. I saw it in Skype. <laughs> Prototypes, packaging, the your whole glow, advertising. But it does go through a uh, few different collecting items. Rocky right, Fire at Boba Fett. So it goes the card back, shows all the different card backs. So it's like a mini Kellerman, really. Not as good, obviously. Ellie Bird. First twelve. As it gives you, oh, there's my checklist now for my first slot. Uh, gives you uh, the weapons. It actually gives you a price guide as well. I mean, look at these. Jawa, final cape Jawa, hundred and eighty pound. I am take that one off. I don't know why not. Uh, Small head, big head, and it gives you a few variations as well. The early bird green crossbow, um, the different weapons for the Jawa. So it does. It's quite quite good. It's quite good. Through it gives you all different card backs for each each figure. But, uh, some different licenses as well. snag that tells you the different versions like the un unpainted knee and things of little little snippets like this loose power droid off of Mrs. Antenna so it's quite I, I, enjoy, I, I it has been really good for me I love this book uh, I've used it Quite often, I used to use it in the shop. It gives you, it just gives you variations. It just gives you a general idea. It doesn't really go into into the de into detail, but it just it gives you an idea of the different versions of figures. It's a good starting point for anybody collecting actually this book. Find out the different. Um, there's actually three different snakes, but I'm not sure if that green snake is like a dis discoloration. I might be wrong. So we're just going through all the different figures, all the card backs, with the vintage line. You've seen all the, you've probably seen all these before. It's uh, nothing new really. As I say, it's just mainly for beginners, to be honest with you. But it's just handy just to have a quick, quick flick through. In Europe, Yak Face was sold without accessories, whereas in Canada, it was packed with a weapon. 
So it's just Canada that back to the weapon. Yeah, but every time you see a low Siak face, he has the weapon. Who knows? And the last 17, part of the force line. I don't know if I actually called it last 17, and you probably don't because of the last two Ewoks. So you've got 10, 15, yeah, you've got 15. So, so this classes them the last 15, whereas we had the two Ewoks in the last 17 in our, uh, in our little country. Uh, vehicles a pair of shuttle <laughs> tattooing skiff for 120 pound a bit more than that now especially boxed so it gives you the the loose the loose value and the box it gives you a general idea I mean you can probably trip triple all, most of these prices now die casts All the vehicles, Millennium Falcon and Slave One and things like that. Um, oh, play sets. There's a dig of a play set going on Vectus next week, which I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eye out. I shouldn't I'll probably tell you that. <laughs> you probably have a look yourself. Now we've got the Kennedy Star and we have the Palatoid Star. £190. I wish. You can get it loose now for that. Uh, that's another thing I'm after. Is the Palatide Star. Speeder bike. Just, just bought a box for my speeder bike. A vintage one, not a uh, reproduction, obviously. Creatures. Now, Jabba the Hutt is. It's a playset, action playset. It's classed as a playset, not a creature. Accessories, stands. Could do one of them for my first 12. I remember sending off one of these survival kits. Ewoks, droids. How much, how much is uh, Vlix going for here? Vlix Brazil only £700. And that was then. And the card had won £3,500. And that's, that's then. So into the Power of the Force 2. It's a Power of the Force collection, but it's, it is Power of the Force 2. God. They tried their best, bless them. <laughs> and all the different versions. It's surprising these aren't more valuable than they actually are at the moment. So they are pretty good, pretty good cards. The figures maybe not so much. There you go. Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight version 2, black vest or brown vest. Now I've got the brown vest version. So what we're talking there? How much does it say? Well, loose. Um, Twenty-five pound. I can't see if these have gone up that much. And uh, the brown vest carded version is sixty pound. Ten pound for the black vest, sixty pound. The brown vest, and I've got the brown vest. And it's a mint card. I'm thinking about getting it graded. To be honest, I don't. I don't grade cards, but I, I wouldn't miss it if it were missing. To be honest with you, but it would be nice to get it graded and have it in my cabinet. So we're just going quickly going to go through all these because uh, you know there might be some collectors that want to uh, have a look, Tarkin, but. Uh, 
basically the same figures as we got in the vintage line upgraded and they'll keep upgrading them I mean, look at the look at the stance on Lando there look without his hand now there's a uh, blooded hand version which I have got and so I'm just going to go quick through this because it's quite a, a long but there's a lot of things in it I've recently seen a uh, two pack of Wicket and Leia with uh, Warwick's signature and I'm tempted to buy that I like my uh, I like my signatures. I usually get them on the black series. I wouldn't get them on vintage. Why do people get autographs on vintage cards? I'll never know. It's okay on the bubbles. Look at that cardboard. Well, paper, it's paper, isn't it? The paper container looks better than the original plastic one. <laughs> Oh, these, these things. Oh. Whoever thought of those? Accessories and. I mean, the creatures look look a lot better. How about that? That's brilliant. Look at. I mean, look at that. That's fantastic. The Wampa there. And three packs. Power of the Force vehicles. The Millennium Falcon was the same sculpt. It just had sound effects and lights on it. People do get confused whether it's the vintage or the later one. It is, it will have 1995 somewhere on it. I mean, this Scout Walker is more or less the same. I once uh, I saw an A Wing fighter in the charity shop, and I was so excited. I thought, oh, it's a vintage A Wing that's so. So rare, so sought after, but it wasn't. It was a part of the force. <laughs> Speeder bikes, they're not changed. More play sets. Carry cases. I, I had one of those. Just a quick look through. Render. There's rumours that they might actually make him canon. Oh, I'm not. Mara should make Mara canon, definitely. Thrones be made canon. Mara should be. I don't know how they'd put her, put her into the timeline, but uh, they should definitely try. On to episode one. All the different card backs. Box standard, all more or less the same. Again, there's a different vest, colour vest version of Darth Maul there. If you ever find one of those, it's supposed to be worth quite a bit. £350 apparently. From a grey vest, which is £7, to a black vest, which is £350. So good luck with that, if you can ever actually find one of those. There are actually more uh, episode one figures than you you realise. They're not bad figures actually, and the card's quite good. You can get them fairly cheap.
vehicles that uh, Royal Starship place, it's massive. Did you think somebody's got all these in the loft? Thinking, oh, they'll be worth thousands someday. Power of the Jedi collection. Again, reaction old figures, but we've got additions like Parkins, uh, Vader from Dagobah with Luke's face. That's a nice figure of Leia. Best been escape Leia. Well, Lando's pretty pretty good there as well. They did some pretty good sculpts actually. I think I think these sculpts are better than the, what they bring out now. Cause you get a pair of pants with him. <laughs> oh dear. His accessories are a pair of pants. What's that about? Borshek. <laughs> Get a snack or two up there. Star Tours. More vehicles. I think that's the only time they did the carbon freezing chamber. This is the uh, Saga collection. I'm not going to go through, through every figure because it's uh, going to take it all night because it's that many different figures. Just to give, give you an idea on how many figures there actually are up to 2005. If they ever did an updated version of this, I think it'd be twice as big. So you've got the, you've got the black series, the vintage collection on top of that, on top of the other figures for the last Jedi, Force Awakens, everything else that have brought out since then. Many ja uh, jabbers. Accessory packs. That's pretty cool. Like that. Walmart exclusive. Might actually look for that. Anybody out there has actually got it? Collector cups and figures. Wow. Christmas figures. The multi pack. I had one of those in the shop. Toys R Us exclusive. I won't be getting any of them anymore. Vehicles, more vehicles, another one that looks like a, uh, a vintage vehicle but isn't. So be careful if you're getting a low vintage shuttle. More clone troops. <laughs> a lot of Clone Wars vehicles. The original Clone Wars.
pretty stylized figure, so those. the 12 inch figures. Again, back to the vintage line. Be nice to have these. Especially IGA TA. That's worth quite a bit. £245 here at uh, loose apparently. But 525 in its box. Boba Fett. And so 365. Hmm, that's strange. Head on to the uh, Power the Force 2 collector, collector series, as they call it. These were actually the ones that they were going to bring out uh, on the vintage line, but they never did. The uh, second wave. Because they didn't sell very well. <laughs> Charky. Nods. <laughs> Every they all look the same, but you've got to buy a different one. Speeder bank's brilliant. So the one twelve inch. I don't know why they did those. And this uh, Amidala. You usually see those in antique shops that sell um, Star Wars. <laughs> you always see one of those. They always want like £200 or something daft for it. Cause it says Star Wars, and they're rich. I do keep trying with these 12 inch now, I went on the die casts. Look at that. A tie bomber. They did come out with two different Darth Vader TIE Fighters, didn't they? One with long wings and one with short wings. Mm, it doesn't actually tell you there. Oh, the stands. So that's it. That's, and it gives you like a an index, a colour coded index for each, each figure, which is handy. So you can go straight to that. Uh, that figure. So that's it. That is the that's the back of it. That is the Star Wars action figure price guide. I hope you enjoyed that. I have got another book to review. Um, it's a bit more exciting than that one. Uh, a bit more interesting. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.